two hours, the U.S. Corps of Engineers expected to provide an update on Lake Okeechobee. The Corps is expected to start harmful water discharges later this summer. It comes as Congressman Brian Mass is drawing a hard line against those discharges that often contain harmful algae that flows from the lake and into communities on the Treasure Coast. CBS 12's Jay O'Brien sat down with Congressman Mass for an exclusive interview from his office in D.C. where he said he won't let that happen. They're not going to poison us. Congressman Brian Mast, defiant, telling the Army Corps of Engineers no more discharges of water out of Lake O. Just as many are left wondering if the Corps will decide to let loose some of that water as the lake's levels get higher. I think that there is a reality that the Corps of Engineers will say we want to discharge water to this area. This is the reality the Corps of Engineers should understand we are not going to take their toxic water. They should think of this like a Twisted Sister song. We're not gonna take it. His comments come as dense, toxic algae is only growing on the lake. They don't want this here in Pahokee. Mast they saw the issue the firsthand lake. a few weeks back in Pahokee. But all of a sudden it, it hit me like I walked into a wall. I could smell it. I could taste it. I, I was literally having to spit, you know, spittle coming out of my mouth because it was so gross in there. Last week, CBS 12 News flew over the lake in a helicopter tracking the toxic water. You can see in this video, the algae is already moving towards our coastal communities. So groups are pleading with the Corps not to resort to discharges. Mast warning a lawsuit isn't out of the question. At the end of the day, though, it's going to be their decision. What could you do to stop that? Everything physically possible to stop them to anchor my boat in front of them, to speak to Ashley Moody, the, the state's attorney general, to say, you need to be suing the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Army Corps of Engineers has got a lot of power here, though. You think you can come up against them and, and stop what they seem ready to do? I don't think the Army Corps can stop me. I'm Jay O'Brien, CBS 12 News.